my name is Connie Johnson. I am from South Carolina. I come from the metropolis of Orangeburg, South Carolina. I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am an auntie. And I have a story. As a child, my family consisted of my mother and my sister. Uh, my mother was a single mother and worked really, really hard. Um, and my sister and I were just known as the girls to most in our family. Um, fast forward a bit. Um, I was a high school senior and I was getting ready for my senior trip, the most exciting part of a teenager's life. Um, I'm packing and getting ready to go and from out of nowhere my mom comes into our room and says, girls, I need to talk to you. Uh, I knew something could have been wrong because she had taken a whole week off work and she never took time off work. She came into our room, she said, mama needs to talk to you. We laid in the bed together, the three of us, as we usually did, whether we were talking and laughing or watching TV or it was just normal for us to lay in bed together. And mama says, I am sick. And my first reaction was, is it cancer? She said, no. And from out of nowhere, my younger sister, who was 14 at the time, said, AIDS. And my mother slowly shook her head, yes. My world stopped on a dime. It was a screeching halt. And the only word that I could form was why. Why my mother? Why now? Why? Uh, fast forward, I went to college, came home after the first semester, and when I came home, I did not recognize my mother anymore. She had lost so much weight. She had lesions on her face, um, and, and it was just obvious that she, her time on earth would not be much longer. And she died. Um, not long afterward, January 26, 1995, I lost my mother and my best friend. Um, dealing with her death was unbearable. I turned to alcohol, I turned to drugs, I turned to partying, I turned to um, multiple sexual partners, um, just trying to fill that void that had been left. Um, I spent about maybe eight years just going through the motions, not, not sure how to deal with what I was going through. And at some point in time, I decided, you know what, this is not the woman your mother raised, and you need to get yourself together and become something that she can be proud of. And I enrolled in school. I enrolled in, in college started studying social science, was doing well on the dean's list. My, my world was just getting better. Um, it was still hard without her, but it was getting better. Um, about a year into school, uh, there was an HIV AIDS Awareness Day where there was a testing van there, and there were prizes if you got tested, and there were these cutest little socks. They had purple and pink hearts all over them. And I said, I have to have those socks in my wardrobe. I got tested, was told that if I didn't hear from anyone in three weeks, that I was fine, and that I should be tested again the next year. One week went by, two weeks went by, three weeks went by, and I did not get a phone call. However, the following Monday after that third week, I got a phone call saying that I needed to be seen immediately. Wasn't sure what to make of it. Never in a million years thought that I could be positive. Thought that maybe possibly it was one of the other diseases that they tested for or the infections that they tested for. And went in blind. And there I was told that I was HIV positive and that I had been positive for about 10 years. At this time, I was 25, which means that I was infected uh, as a teenager, 15, 16. Uh, I slept with a lot of older guys looking for the affection that I wasn't getting from my father. Um, but I live. 
that was 10 years ago um, that I have been diagnosed. I am currently a graduate student at Loyola University Chicago. I am writing an autobiography. I live a joyful life. I live a peaceful life. I live, I live, I live, I live, I live.